All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makar Kudash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule impeccably well. Shalom to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. This is the Rabbi Yakanan from the GMS England branch. This is going to be a brief video. You know, I'm just out here, you know, taking a brief walk in the forest, you know, after work, you know, spirit, you know, you know, move me to come out here and really just, you know, take a walk and meditate on the downfall of this wicked society, you know, of this wicked kingdom, which is, you know, honestly, <laughs> which is, you know, what I do most of the time, all right, is meditate on the downfall of this wicked kingdom. You know, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, it completely, you know, takes over your, your whole existence, all right? And that's a good thing because really the only reason that we're here is to actually preach the word, all right? That's the only reason we're here. The only reason we're here is to preach the word. That's our sole, you know, purpose in this life. You know, it's to preach the words of Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai, Barashim Wakar Kudash, all right? And being occupied in anything else, you know, you're not utilizing, you know, your true meaning, you know, for actually being here, man. You know, what you're doing is actually, uh, you're neglecting your purpose, all right? You're actually uh, neglecting your purpose by not preaching this word, by not being instant in season and out of season. All right, you're neglecting, you know, your actual functionalities, man. You know, everything has a functionality. Everything is designed, you know, to do something. And that's being a prophet of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, a hopeful man of the elect. Our purpose is to prophesy. Our purpose is to edify and bring this truth out. So it's always in our spirit it's always burning in us to make sure that we're doing just that, you know, bringing out this truth. Especially, you know, considering the times that we're currently occupying, man, all right? Now there's, you know, worldwide, you know, disarray right now concerning, you know, these mandates concerning, you know, the draconian measures that Esau Edom is enforcing, you know, upon the world. All right, but this is all biblical prophecy. This is all things that must indeed come to pass, man. And this is a sign of the times, all right? This is the sign of the times, man. And this shows us that we're in the end of this world, man. Okay, we're in the end. And it's clear to see that we're in the end. And there's many people that also feel, you know, that same uh, particular, particular vibration, all right? There's many people that feel that too. You know, as they say, you know, you can smell it in the air. You know, you can smell that it's the time of the end because drastic things are being manifested upon the face of the earth. Major changes are being made upon the face of the earth. That's going to change people's lives, all right? Either for the better <laughs> or for the worse, depending on what you have about Shim Yao Shai as you do. For example, you know, you're going to have many of our people, all right, that um, trust in the chariots, of Egypt, all right? Meaning they're gonna trust in the strength of Esau Edom and this beast system that he's bringing to the forefront, all right? And the reason they're gonna trust in that is because they don't have no faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right? Because they don't even know Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, okay? And the difference between us and them is that, you know, the Lord, all right, has chosen us to be prophets and has given us the gift of faith so that we can actually believe in him and Lord willing, you know, be delivered in these last days, man. That's the difference. You know, it's not of our own, you know, greatness, you know, of our own works that, you know, we have the information that we do. That's purely through the mercy of Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai, Barashim Kudash, all right? So we can take no credit for this blessing that's been laid upon us, man. Okay? But again, 
you know our job is to warn you warn you israelites out there of what's about to go down man okay and to warn you of you know why these things are actually happening upon the face of the earth man okay because you got many people that are clueless you know they don't even know that you know the lord is about to come back they don't know that the lord is about to penetrate those clouds okay and he's about to return with those ufos those so-called ufos which we know through the spirit you know that's the chariots of yahweh Shem yahweh shai okay that's the chariots of yahweh Shem yahweh shai that's those heavenly vehicles that the lord and the heavenly angels use okay so this is going to be a weird very strange salvation man like it tells us in the wisdom of solomon it's going to be a strange salvation you know people are actually going to witness the elect being beamed up being you know levitated in the air okay and these are the things that you know many people thought would only you know be in movies man you know special effects in you know movies with green screen and you know all of Esau's technology that he uses to make um things appear you know that are not really real but what you got to understand concerning your how about shimmy out shy all of those things you you imagine or that you see in the movies can actually be done and they can actually be done <laughs> on a much greater scale okay the lord is about to totally outdo anything that you've witnessed in this world okay anything that you thought was strange or that you thought was you know amazing or that wowed you in this world you wait till you how about shimmy al shine makes his return you're going to witness some stuff all right you're going to witness the elect of you how about shimmy al shine heal people just like our lord and our savior how shy and the disciples of old healed people okay you're going to see that you're actually going to see the power of your how about shimmy al shine in this entirety man all right he's about to open up on this place he's about to cause many miraculous events to happen throughout the four corners of the globe man okay you're going to see many more you know signs in the heavens okay when we was at camp you know this saturday gone you know we was with our camp head you know elder ramar and we were teaching and um you know the elder noticed that there was a chariot above our head man all right and the scriptures say that the angels of yahweh bar shimmy al shai encampeth about the men that fear him man so best believe you know 24 7 365 you know lord willing you be of the elect you know them angels they're around you man all right they're around us right now you know lord willing i'll be a man of the lord i'll be of the elect them angels are actually around me right now you know protecting me you know protecting you know us you know from any danger all right any imminent danger you know that's trying to come our way because remember this is a spiritual battle all right this is a spiritual battle and it tells us in, uh, in the book of ephesians all right that me we, we wrestle not against flesh and blood but principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places man so this is a spiritual battle that we're involved in man all right you have you know the elites you know you got their witches and their their, their, their warlocks you know you know they're magicians you know if you will you know casting spells upon the elect you know trying to keep trying to keep us from obtaining salvation okay because they they pray unto satan man the spiritual demon satan who's really a secret agent you know for our lord you how about shim Shai? but they don't know that okay and that's why the scriptures say that's why yahweh Shai said to peter rather that um you know satan had desired to sift you as the wheat but i have prayed for thee that that that, that faith fell not man all right so we if we be of the elect which lord willing we are you know brothers that are you know laboring in his truth you know understand that you know yahweh Shai has vouched for us man all right that our faith don't fail that we stay you know in the spirit of yahweh Shim yahweh Shai, okay and we're not phased by the um 
by the trickery, by the deceiving um, methods of Satan, man. Okay? So we gotta pray to you, how about Shim Shai that we can remain to stand stiffly, you know, in these last days, especially, man, because like I said, you know, shit is about to go down, man. You know, our faith is about to be heavily tested. Okay? And it's very important that we, you know, understand and uh, keep the understanding, you know, of this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of this truth. All right? Because the Lord, you know, he's, he, he, he's already, you know, he's already won the battle, man. That's another thing that we can't forget. The battle has already been won through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. He's our strength. The scriptures say the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and are safe, man. Okay? And we have those names through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai. We have the names, man. Okay? So Lord willing, you know, those are those names that we're going to be calling upon you know, when all hell breaks loose, man. Okay? There's about to be, you know, mass shortages of food throughout the four corners of the globe. Okay? Esau Edom, he's staging, you know, he's staging a global event that's going to bring mass chaos upon the four corners of the earth, man. Okay? He's, he's acclimatizing the perfect, you know, recipe for destruction and chaos in these last days, man. All right? Through all the chaos. All right, and we ain't gonna stop talking about these things, man. All right, we gotta keep talking about, you know, the prophecies. We gotta, we gotta keep going into, you know, the MOTB. We gotta keep going into Jacob's trouble. Okay, we gotta keep talking about these things until they're fulfilled, man. Okay? Because you might have people out there, you know, <laughs> Apostle Tahar always says this, uh, you guys always talk about the same thing. You're always talking about the MOTB. You're always talking about end times, you know? That's why they call us the prophets of doom, man. Because we ain't coming in the spirit of them smooth things, man. All right, ain't nothing smooth to talk about right now, man. All right, the smooth, the, the smooth life that's gonna be in the kingdom, but we're not in the kingdom yet, man. We're in the time of war. In Ecclesiastes three, it tells you about you know different seasons and different times, man. There's a time you know to talk about certain things, and right now it's the appropriate time to talk about war, to talk about destruction, to talk about salvation. Okay, and to talk about the end of this wicked generation, man. That's the right time for us to be talking about these things, man. All right, not talking about prosperity, you know, talking about, um, you know, settling, you know, in this, in this world, compromising, taking the MOTB. We ain't pushing that, man. We're, to, we're, we're, we're pushing, all right, something that's adverse, you know, to this kingdom. Okay, we're sticking up. And we're representing righteousness that is in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. We're representing the, the simplicity that is in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. Okay? We're not representing Esau Edom. We're not upholding, you know, his wicked kingdom and trying to keep that alive. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, we want our Lord to throw this place down, man. Okay? And we can't wait. We can't wait till this kingdom gets destroyed, man. We can't wait till this place gets thrown down, okay? Because Esau's demise, all right, is our rise, man. Remember that Esau's de de demise, all right, is symbolic of our rise, man. As the scripture says in the second Ezra 6 and 9, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. All right, so we, we have next rulership upon the face of the earth. And that's going to be a never-ending rulership. It's going to be forever through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man. So these are the things that we have to look forward to, okay? But until we, until we get there, we're going to keep pushing this truth. We're going to keep telling you of the great judgment that's coming from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man, until it unfolds. All right. So um. You know, it's pretty much all the way sundown now, so I'm going to wrap it up. Lord willing, this uh, video was edifying. Until next time, I'll say Shalom.